Prevention of problems really comes with management. And one of the things we want to think about first is facilities, having a, uh, as big area as we can for calving. Uh, calving in a small confined area is always going to be problematic. Pathogen load is going to increase quickly. And uh, when we hit the middle of the calving season through the end, that crescendo in pathogen load is going to be problematic and it's going to cause uh, calf scours. And so facilities is important. We want to have plenty of space. We want to have windbreak. Uh, make sure you have plenty of bedding ahead of time so that these calves can stay, stay warm and dry. Nutrition is really important. They need to be in a positive plane of nutrition coming to calving. Uh, one thing we can objectively measure is body condition score. So that's important to think about because body condition score really has a, a big effect on, the, on quantity and quality of colostrum. We can change the quality of the col colostrum by using a, another tool is, is vaccination. Vaccination is a great tool in, prevent, in helping prevent calf scours along with the other management things we do. Now, when we give the vaccine is really important. We know that the cows and heifers are starting to produce colostrum in, in advance of the calving. So we're talking about vaccinating our heifers and cows prior for, uh, eight to 10 weeks ahead of calving so that we have uh, the biggest benefit we can get from the, from the vaccination. And like I said, calves are born without any antibodies. And so it's really important that we get the colostrum into those calves in a timely manner. That ability to absorb is closed at about 24 hours. So the earlier we get colostrum into those calves at, at a sufficient quantity, better we're off.